Honestly, when the hot seaweed wasn't there yet. Hello, and welcome to your dad. Please, StarCraft 2. In the upper right hand corner, we have. We're in a pretty cool looking building skin. My honorable opponent, another Protoss in blue, Schwiftewolf. And on the lower left hand side of the map, we have your hero, your champion, your dad, playing Protoss and building his base like a derp. Um. You know, I'm doing the standard pylon, warp gate, go check out the opponent. At this point, I was like, ah, it really doesn't matter where I build my stuff, right? Because I'm. it's not like I'm trying to block them off. And generally, just try to block off Zerg. Turns out, and it doesn't happen in this game, but... You know, blocking against, uh... Against lots of races is, isn't bad. At least blocking, like, your initial ramp. So you can make a choke point for stuff if you have to. Um, Terran, I don't think it's very necessary because... Their guys are ranged anyway. But, yeah, you know, against Protoss, what if they send in Zealots? What if they rush me of those? At least I can block my ramp. Here I'm just open to whatever attack they send. So, could be a little smarter with my base building, but, you know, this game's a little early. So, my plan for this, since I'm against Protoss, is I'm pretty much just gonna blind start making Immortals and Stalkers. And this is because Stalkers and Immortals are. From what, I, from what I can tell, they're pretty common units, but they are good against armored units. And lots of um, Protoss' stuff is armored. Like, I think... Yeah, Stalkers are armored. Um, I know Mortals are armored, but that's mostly what I think I'm going to be against, is like some kind of Stalkers or armored type units. So, that's what I go for. Um, I'm also making a sentry so that I can hallucinate phoenixes and scout my opponent's base. Don't remember if I actually remember to do it this game, but that's the logic behind it. I want to be able to actually scout my opponent. And now you can see I'm making my uh, level one attack upgrade. I almost have warp gauge. I'm currently boosting out an immortal because I am, for some reason, worried about attacks. Like I haven't seen anything that makes me feel like I'm becoming under attack, but. I'm honestly just trying to macro. And right now I've got three buildings, but I've got two bases. I could have another, like, two to three, um, two to three buildings that I'm making units out of. Like, with this economy, I should be able to support that. Especially if I'm making an expansion. Like, I think a general rule is every base you have if you're making upgrades and probes and that type of thing, you can afford, you can pretty much upkeep like three different production buildings. Based on, you know, I imagine based on what you're making, but you know, three different production buildings. So I'm going up to third base, I could probably support like nine, ten production buildings. And now I'm finally adding on four more gateways. Like, four more gateways and another robotics bay because or box facility because I want to pump out more immortals. Because I really think against Protoss just at least at this point in time, I was just like, I'm against Protoss, I'm gonna go stuff that hits armored things hard. And I actually can see on the minimap, I saw an army move out. I don't know if I actually was paying attention in game, but I should know there's an army coming. Upgrade complete. Like that's why I have an observer there so I can know if I'm getting attacked. But we're gonna have more upgrades. I'm currently 1-1. One, one. My opponent's 1-0. If they have charge, I don't. Um, I need charge. So, they're attacking. I'm currently boosting out my charge, making some zealots, making some stalkers. Got a couple of morals going. And at this point, I know I'm gonna be giving up my base. Um, they've kind of beat through my army and the cannons. And now I'm letting them take their time to destroy that base while I pump up my army. I put more things out. And that's what I'm doing. I'm reinforcing right now. So, here we are. Right now we got a pretty good amount of units. But they've got Zealots. And this is the thing. Zealots don't take extra damage from my army. Everything else in their army does. But my stuff takes extra damage from their army too. So Zealots are actually real strong here, especially if they have charge. Like my charge just finished. And my level 2 attack's about to finish. 
you just upgraded your units. And they're just making units. They're not upgrading or anything anymore. So as this goes, as long as I go to stall, I'm actually doing I'm doing better, I'm getting stronger. And you see those extra immortals coming out? I can tear through that army. They've got an observer in the corner, but that's fine. And now I'm just going into you know, make sure I don't get supply blocked, rebuild my army. And making a DT shrine, just try to keep my uh, keep my units, keep my tech moving while I have the chance. And as soon as I get enough for it, level three weapons. I'm gonna make level one shields. I don't know why I made level one shields instead of level three armor. I don't know. That's just the decision. That's just the decision I made, I guess. But. Yep, getting ready to make another base because my third base is fully saturated because I saved my probes from earlier. I just ran them back to another base. And they never broke past my third. So, waste some time, kill these rocks. In case I need to grab that gold for some reason. And, yeah, just start from here. I could be mining that gold actually, that'd be fine. I should have started mining the gold. Long distance mining the gold is not a bad idea. Upgrades done. But rebuilding my army. And I don't know if you notice, after our fight, they're like 30 something supply. They've gone up 20 supply. I've gone up like, you know, 60 supply. Something like that. So my army's marching in. I see on the minimap they're making a gold base, so I'm gonna go take that out. See if they send their army over. And if they do, run my war prism in, drop some units down. I'm um, just building more pylons to make sure I don't get supply blocked while I'm trying to warp stuff in. Um, I could be macroing better. I'm, I've built up a ton of resources doing this fight. But now I bring in a bunch of DTs, run in, they have no detection. And now I'm just gonna go nuts on all their technology, everything they have. And even while I did that, my main army, if we go back to, uh, let's just go back about, you know, half a minute before I fought. I took that side base out, but my army is just enormous compared to theirs, and I'm not even microing it, like I'm not walking forward star stepping or anything. So it's legit just my army is massive, but I haven't destroyed their their tech yet, I'm about to start. They had four gates in a robo, I had six gates and two robos. That's three units extra every round of warpins that I'm making. And now they're asking me, uh, you know, how, how I managed to go for three bases and still have a million units. I think they must have been, like, how I had that many units on the defense. But we remember I made, I made all this stuff right before he attacked. Like, I think these were actually made. So honestly, I could just warp in more things. I had more production buildings. I made sure to try to make some production before my base got up. Because I made these while this was building. And gateways and robotics facility are going to make faster than a Nexus. So yeah, by the time I, uh, by the time I got attacked, I had six, I had eight production buildings I could bring units out of. And when you're getting attacked on what looks like a pretty hard all-in, maybe not all-in, but just a pretty big attack, um, you probably, if you're better, you'd be making some probes during that, but I was just pumping all my resources into making combat upgrades, you know, including charge, and just making units. Making units, chrono boosting out units. Just doing whatever I could to defend this natural and repel their attack and then rebuild. So yeah, the main answer to why I could make still have a million units I went for a third base was because I was fully saturated on three bases before they showed up. I had a ton of production buildings, eight of them, all I probably could have afforded more, and I was just pumping out units the whole time. And since I had more production buildings, I could warp in more things. As long as it doesn't break me, I'm going to win that. So, yeah. That was a decent game. It was a pretty good macro game for me, I imagine. Like, you know, I kept making upgrades, they didn't. I kept making units, they... 
either didn't keep making units very often, or they just didn't have enough buildings to keep up with. I know they didn't have enough buildings to keep up with what I was doing, but they should have been able to make more. They just didn't expand until late, I think. Or stayed on two base for too long and started mining out over here. And then it's like they were on one base trying to support six or five structures, and you just can't really do that. So, yeah, that was a good game. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It felt pretty good to feel like I actually macroed pretty well during that. Like, obviously not the best, but getting better, getting better. So, hope you enjoyed that video. And until the next one, I've been your dad. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.